And I remember seeing all the people throwing all the leftovers in the garbage. I went by the garbage cans and I start eating from that food. In 1992, I was ready to go to college. I didn't have no money to pay the tuition, so I got my luggage full of desires and full of faith. When I got to the Montemorelos University in Mexico, my uncles and my grandpas, they helped me out to start the first year. While I was a study in the afternoons, I worked as a part-time just to help my family to cover the tuition of the first year. When summer comes, one of the pastors invited me to culporting during summer here in America. And I said, well, um, I would like to do it. I would like to try and see how it goes. It was a good summer. It was not like uh, enough to pay the tuition for the whole year, but it was a great experience. The second summer, uh, I got invited to go to Washington State. And uh, I said, this is the year that I should be able to get the whole tuition to pay my full scholarship. That summer was the worst. I feel so sad, so discouraged because I don't even have money to pay at least a couple months of the tuition of my scholarship. So I have to go to school in the afternoon, keep working, and Sundays go culporting in the city of Monterey. The last year when I was in college, the pastor asked me, where do you want to go now? And I said, well, where you guys want to send me, it's, it's okay with me. It was my surprise that they told me, well, you got to go to Washington State again. As soon as they mentioned that state, my memories came to that summer when it was a completely disaster. My uncle, who was a pastor in Montemorelos, he asked me, why are you so sad? Why you don't challenge God and go with all your faith and even ask for the double of books to sell and see how it goes? And then I remember telling him, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Do you remember how it was the summer when I was there? It was terrible. Someone let me borrow $100 to get into Washington State. And I remember that the first three weeks, I didn't sell nothing. The $100 that someone borrowed me were completely gone. And I was hungry. And I didn't have money to eat. I stopped by a McDonald's. And I remember seeing all the people throwing all the leftovers in the garbage. So I said, I should go and eat over there. And yes, I went by the garbage cans and I start eating from that food. When that happened, I start crying. And then I lay down on my knees and I said, God, why'd you bring me here again? Why? You brought me here to suffer? Again? I remember when I was praying, a guy saw me. I never gonna forget his name. His name was Mark. He asked me and said, are you hungry? Do you need something? Uh, why you have that back? And he started asking questions. And I explained to him, well, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist missionary. Um, I'm here to sell books, to pay my scholarship. And he said, well, um, do you work during, during the morning? And I said, well, no, I have to wait until the afternoon when people get to their house to start working and try to sell the books for my school. He said, well, I want to offer you a job as a painter. If you want, you can work only five hours, and then in the afternoon, you have to sell your books. And then I remember I, I told him, well, I cannot work as a painter because the, the permit I have only allows me to work as a missionary. And he said, do not worry. I will pay you cash just to help you out. And I work as a painter in the mornings, and in the afternoon, I was working culporting. While I was culporting, I, I met another guy, and he invited me to his church to promoting these this books that I have for Ellen G. White. For my surprise, the next month, I sold all the books that I had in my position for my scholarship. And then the pastor invited me constantly to their church. And I remember talking to the youth on a Sunday and a different day that I used to worship. It was a good experience. For my surprise, at the end of the summer, I got the full scholarship and also to pay the graduation fees and buy my first computer. I was so grateful and thankful that God allowed me to have that experience. I would like to say to all the young people that is going into college, and maybe they're rethinking because they don't have the enough sources to go to college. Do not be afraid. Trust God. 
If you ask Him, God is willing to help you accomplish your dreams and your desires. My name is Fran Sanchez, and this is my story. I'm Pastor Tara Van Cross, and we're so glad that you've tuned into our Azure Hills Church YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every time we share new videos. We are so glad that you're here. Until next time, please know that we're praying for you as you continue to be a voice of hope.